Hey guys, it's Rock the Golem. We're currently flying at an altitude of about 2,000 feet, which is probably horribly inaccurate. But anywho, welcome back to Far Cry 4. In the last episode, we managed to take Paul Deplore hostage, which has successfully weakened the defenses of his fortress. Uh, as you see on the minimap there, there is a Golden Path mission we can take, uh, but I don't know if that's going to continue us along the campaign, or if it's going to have us go and take out the fortress. Either way, I plan on going and taking the fortress myself, just to see what happens. Um, but yeah, assuming that I can just take the fortress by myself, that's what this episode's going to be about. Uh, but if I have to actually go and speak with uh, Sabal and them, and uh, have them assign it to me as a mission, uh, you'll never have seen me gone directly to the fortress. I'll just cut over to uh, that point. Yay for the magic of editing. Uh, I do hope that this mission turns out to... Uh, make for a more exciting episode than last ones. Uh, I mean, let's face it, you guys were there. It was a very, very lackluster episode, and I do apologize for that. Uh, had I known, um, well, I, I can't say I would have done anything differently, because unfortunately I had to actually go ahead and, you know, do it. There was nothing that could be done. So yeah, uh, here we are at the fortress, and let's see if I can go and take this out. And hopefully with the aid of this uh, chopper, it'll make it much easier. Varshkahat. Well, they saw me coming, clearly. Storm in the palace. Come on, peek your head out again. Uh, I said your head, not your whole body. Goddamn mortar. That's right, just run right into my gun. Oh, now it is I who shall have the mortar. that way. Come on. I know you're coming around this corner here. What's still your fuck? That guy's got some really good body armor on, huh? No, that's not fair. They have air support. Can I... How did that not kill him? boy. Okay, note to self, air support hurts. Yep, should have brought my grenade launcher. Shoot him. Get up. Well, I promised you guys excitement, and that's exactly what you're getting. Now I need to come up with a way to take out that freaking plane. Hmm. The 
mortar won't be any good because I need time to aim it. Can I? Will it work? I don't think the Molotovs worked. Damn it. That's right, folks. I'm doing battle with a helicopter. Solid Snake ain't got nothing on me. cash somewhere. Another one? I don't think I have enough Molotovs for this. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Helicopters stuck around, didn't they? Come on. Show me your pilot. Uh, I can't breach the canopy, can I? Apparently I can, actually. Please don't see me coming. Okay, stay. Right there, good sir. All I need you to do is hold still for just a few seconds. Skadoosh. That's what I wanted to see. Oh my. Took down my first fortress. Not as smooth as, uh... Well, actually, it's probably one of the smoothest things I've done. Varsh got conquered. Liberated outposts in this region will no longer be attacked by Deplorious troops. Cool. I thought I really defended them to begin with, but hey, whatever have you. 
And it's a fast travel point now, too. Awesome. Visit Sharma Salsa for racing activities. I, you know, I still have not done a single race. But, uh, that's alright. Alright, let's see here. Longinus has a mission for us. But yeah, I'm going to try to stick to the, um, the campaign missions just so I don't bore you guys with stuff. Is my chopper still out there? I hope so. I hope they didn't blow that up. Yes, it is. Huh. Can you imagine if I tried to get into a helicopter battle with that with this little thing? If I had my grenade launcher, that would have been one thing, but clearly I didn't. And actually, isn't this a new plane? Because I think my old one was blue. Oh well. Well, what can you do? Alright, let's head over to this, uh, this Golden Path campaign mission and see what they got in store for me. Because I'm wondering if this is one of those ones where it's like, oh, the, uh, the, the future of control over the Golden Path. Uh, rests in the decision that you make here. Yeah, even if that is the case, I need to I need to restock. I used a lot of stuff on that. Uh, and note to self, uh, when going after fortresses, bring grenade launcher. Because that would have been key for taking out those helicopters. Although, the first one took me a while. The second one I took out with a sniper bullet, which was amazing, even though it took a few shots. Um, but that last one, using the mortar... As soon as that fired off and he turned around, I was wholeheartedly convinced that was going to miss, but it didn't, and it had to have been the single greatest way I've ever ended an encounter. You know, being the, the sniper happy person that I am, you'd think that my, my favorite way to end an encounter would be with like a sniper shot to right between the eyes, but no, uh, that's actually old hat for me at this point. I do that all the time, so there's no... Uh, there's no glory, if you will, in uh, ending an encounter that way. Hey, right, nice, uh, nice little landing area out here. All right, and they're upstairs. Okay. Oh, that! I really wish I knew what was causing that blinking, because I can't. I have no idea. Can't say. All right, here we go. What's going on now? Are you okay? Uh-oh. Do you think this is easy? Being the first woman in the Golden Path? The one pushing for change while everybody else talks behind your back about how you're destroying their heritage. Really? This is because I didn't side with you in the last one, isn't it? I am it? every bit the fighter. The Kirati that they are, but they... They just see a woman. You're a smart man, Ajay, tell me. Am I the right person for this? You know what? Sabal, he's got all these supporters, and I just I just keep thinking, are they blind? Or am I just missing the point? Ooh, self-doubt is not a good character trait for a leader. And decision is for the weak. Correct. There you go. Okay. Be strong. Remember that tea plantation? The poppies they've been shipped to an old brick factory for processing. Wait, the tea plantation that we're currently so standing sure in? The one where I had to destroy the opium? Oh, whatever. Exactly. That's everything we need to plan for the future while he's stuck in the past. I say yes, he says no. But I'm hoping you will be the one to do the right thing. What happened to the last time with it being the only source of, you know, income for the future of Kirat? Okay, let's, uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the, uh, the ones for choosing sides. Alright, Amita, what do we got? Didn't mean to stare at your chest there, sorry. I'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. I need you to take Noah's brick factory without destroying it. We'll put it to good use later. Ajay, be careful, huh? It's very well guarded. But... Okay, was the Brick Factory taken from Noor? Maybe I missed that in the explanation, because last I checked, Noor was our ally. Balance of power mission. Amita wants to capture and protect... Oh, okay. And protect the Roken Brick Factory to pr process opium and fund the rebellion. Oh, God. Okay. So we're back to the whole drugs in Kirat thing. Awesome. All right, Sabal, what do you... what do you got? Sorry, Sabal, didn't mean to stare at your chest. That was an interesting sound. 
There we go. That took a second. Sabal. Amita told me about the brick factory. And I bet she cried on your shoulder. Did she give you that sob story about being the first woman in the Golden Park? Wow. She's tried that with me. But she didn't fool you, did she, brother? This heroine is poison, pure and simple. Take out Noah's men and bring down the factory. End of story. Oh, the problem is that I don't want to make an enemy out of Noor. Sabal wants you to destroy the Roken Brick Factory and prevent any further opium processing. Oh, God. Okay, so if I go with Amida, it's going to be counterproductive to what I did in the last uh, Golden Path mission. But if I go with Sabal on this one, how will Kirat make any money? And on top of it, I'll make an enemy out of Noor. Noor, Noor. And I don't really want to do that. Oh, God, Sabal, you're, you're going to hate me yet again. Advanced chemistry. Uh, meet the rebels at the rendezvous point. Is there a place where I can re-up? No, of course not. A lot of chests in this area, though. At some point, I need to, to make a return trip out here and uh, open all those up. All right, let's go piss the ball off. Oh, hey, there's a little uh, series of buildings on that island over there. Well, island. It's a little uh, thing in between a lake. Oh, river. Whatever it is. Whatever, I can't re-up my equipment there, so whatever. All right, here we are. Landed just outside of the zone of where we're going to meet up with the other members of the Golden Path and head over to... Well, for us, it's going to be to say, well, uh, it, stay, stay, good boy. Yeah, it's going to be to actually defend the uh, brick factory that Noor has. But that's going to be for the next episode. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I promised a little bit more excitement with this one. I would like to think I delivered, even though I may not have commentated through the whole thing. But I sometimes get a little more focused than I think I should or do. But yeah, so um, let's see if we can uh, liberate this factory in the next episode. Alright guys, I'll see you on the other side. Take care.